when we were shown the graphics, you know, it looked really impressive, but actually this is, this is so much more impressive than anything we were actually shown even in diagram form. It's stunning. This is, this is Breaker 1-9, the rubber duck. This is Riverboat to Rings. Riverboat to Rings, release the rings into position now. Oh my God, they've done it beautifully, haven't they? So that's pretty good. That is good. You know, we were talking seven years and six years and five years and then then sort of months and now weeks and we're down to days. So yeah, it's it's hoving into view quite quickly. We're very excited, obviously, and this is now the final furlong where the horses change places. These rings coming down symbolises our invitation to the world. It's a great, great moment for us. London is as ready as I think any Olympic city has ever been in the past. It's an incredible effort by Sebco, by Locog, uh, everybody in the Olympic Delivery Authority. All those venues are on time, under budget. You, you'll see loads of stuff over the next few weeks. Uh, the look and feel of buntings going up, all sorts of stuff to uh, excite people during games time. And then finally, of course, we've got to get the teams to that sort of pitch of perfection of athletic perfection to make sure we win all these medals. I speak to people who haven't got tickets who are very excited about being a part of the Festival 2012, being a part of our live sites in London, seeing many of the venues that are still, you know, you, you can watch, you can watch the road cycling, you can watch the race walks, you can watch the marathon, you can watch parts of the triathlon. There's a lot going on that you don't need a ticket for. I'm told we're going to win more medals in more sports than ever before. Whether that can possibly be true, I have no idea. I'm worried about overconfidence there. You know, I'm very worried about that. I think, you know, we did brilliantly in Beijing and I don't know how we're going to beat that. I think what we can say is there's probably never been a Games where uh, a British team has been better prepared and better resourced and home advantage will always make a difference. But I think the battle for fourth place on the medals table is probably going to be tougher than it's ever been before as well. So that's 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 good news and particularly good news for spectators who I think are going to see the best sport they've ever seen at an Olympic Games. I think it's going to be the greatest Games ever, obviously I think that because I'm, I'm the mayor and I'm very, very proud of what we've done, you know, but there's a long time to go.